Where are we from? Texas State. Where are we from? Texas State. Where are we from? Texas State. Nothing is easy. Everything's a challenge. From the last point to the last minute to the last part to the last man, we fight. 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 Bobcats, are you hungry? Yeah. Bobcats, are you hungry? Yeah. Bobcats, are you hungry? Yeah. Three, two, one. Eat them up. D1, 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 I didn't D1. come to college to, you know, play paintball, but um, I found the team through a friend awesome, and awesome. Uh, I started coming out to their events and uh, started becoming friends with them and that's where it all began. I decided to look for a paintball team and if there wasn't one in existence, I had the dream of starting one. Come to Texas State and I'm like, I'm gonna set up a paintball club and then I found these guys and I'm like, all right, I'm gonna be on the paintball team now. I'm the best one. Ever. No, I'm just kidding, I'm not the best one. Around the beginning of this past fall semester, I stepped up to become full-time president. Before games, I try and not plug myself into the headphones because I prefer to connect with my teammates instead, just hype each other up, uh, compliment each other, and eventually, right before we're about to go on a match, we'll get a huddle going, get our uh, chant going, and that really gets me pumped. Just right before we get on there, we do our eat em up chants, get out there, and we feel unstoppable. To warm up, really, it's just about loosening your loosening your legs and your core more than anything, because it's a lot of squatting, a lot of tucking in tight positions, a lot of leg stretches. You have the gun or the marker with the screw-on barrel, What's on? and there's a what's called a feed neck on top, which is a little circular bit that you That's put a hopper on. The, uh, the hopper holds about 200 paintballs, so you uh, fill that up before you play. You use that, and if you need to reload throughout the game. On your back, you have what's called a pod pack, and you can carry f anywhere from like one to, I think mine holds like 11 pods. And those pods hold about 150 paintballs. So you can go out there and uh, carry a lot of paintballs if you need to. Uh, and you just take those, pop the lid, dump it in your hopper, and you're good to go. The trigger is about big enough for two fingers to go in there comfortably, because when you're firing it, you al usually alternate fingers um, to be able to achieve the rate of fire you need for tournament play. Um, which is 10.5 balls a second. After practice, you will definitely wake up the next morning and be so sore, like your legs will be dead, your back sore. You'll wake up with 10, 15 bruises clustered together on your back. <laughs> Shit, that's, that's the way it goes, that's the name of the game. It's all about getting up the next day and going back out there and fighting your hardest. Well, on one side of the field, you have these pyramid-looking bunkers. Uh, we call them Doritos. They are literally triangular. They look like what you would expect when I say pyramid. Um, those are That's the Dorito side. In the middle, you have things that look like beer cans. They're called cans. Um, they're usually a little bit taller than I am. Smaller versions are called pins. And then you have what's called the snake side, which is literally beams that are very close to the ground with what are called knuckles and these are just basically measuring positions so you have your snake side your middle and then your dorito side on the opposite side at the very first point it's like real nervous you every time no matter how much experience you have it's for me it's there's always butterflies in my stomach and then it gets the adrenaline starts rushing and as soon as you learn that first point it's like oh my goodness you feel like it's invincible hey, D1, D1, D1. D1, D1. All right, let's get back on the field. Let's just keep going. I'm tired, but let's just keep going. The adrenaline, it's almost like time stops. I can probably describe it almost other than time stopping as 
when everything that you think should be going wrong just happens to fall into place and it goes right and you can't help but smile.